Hi everyone, welcome back. So it's quite a tough contest this, this week, and I'm planning to make uh, videos for question two and question three, so stay tuned. And today, let's solve the question uh, maximum length of subarray with positive product. Okay, the question statement. So given an array of uh, nums, we have to find the maximum length of subarray where the product of all the elements in this subarray is positive. So it's pretty uh, straightforward. For example one, we can see that uh, the product of all the elements in the array is positive. So the output will be the length of this array, which is four. And example two, uh, we can take the subarray one, negative two, and negative three, and their product will be positive. So the output will be three. And example three um, is either the subarray uh, negative one or negative two, or negative two and negative three. So the result will be two. And you can see that the tricky part uh, in this question is that in the array, there can be positive and negative numbers or even zeros. And there's a very similar question, uh, 152, the maximum product subarray. But uh, in that question, we have to calculate the maximum uh, product of a subarray. But in this question is to find the maximum length of the subarray with a positive product. But the algorithm we will use uh, are the same, which is uh, dynamic programming. And it's quite weird that uh, you have to use uh, DP to solve uh, median questions in the contest. But basically to use uh, DP, you have to first think of what is the intuition of the DP array and its an initial states and the state transition functions. And the data structure we will use are two uh, DP arrays, uh, which is positive and negative array. And the meaning of these arrays is the length of the longest uh, subarray, uh, which ending at the current element num side with positive or negative product. Now let's look at the code. So the first part of the code is to set up the DP initial states. So the initial states of the positive and negative array is array of zeros, and the size is the size of uh, the array nums. And you will see later why we initialize both arrays to uh, zero. And if the first element in the nums array is uh, positive, then we will set positive uh, zero to one. Otherwise, uh, we will set negative uh, zero to one. And first initialize the output variable result to the first element in the positive array. And next, uh, next part is the DP uh, state transition equation. So go through the array and if the element is bigger than zero, then positive i will be equal to one plus uh, positive i minus one. And negative i will be one plus a negative i minus one. If ne negative i minus one is bigger than zero, otherwise uh, reset to zero. And if the element is uh, negative, then positive i will be one plus negative i minus one. If uh, negative i minus one is bigger than zero, otherwise uh, reset to zero. And negative i will be one plus positive i minus one. And finally, update the result to the maximum of a result or a positive i. And now let's see the code in action. And here we, are, we will look at uh, example three because uh, the nums array has all negative, positive number, and zero. And the output uh, should be two. And remember, the DP array is the length of the longest subarray ending at uh, the current element uh, nums i with positive or negative product. So the first element is a negative, so we will set the first element in negative array to one. 
and next element is negative so we will uh, use this equation positive uh, i is equal to 1 plus negative i minus 1 which means that uh, this subray negative 1 and negative 2 its length is 2 so we will update a positive array the second element from 0 to 2 and for the negative array we will update from 0 to 1 using uh, this equation negative i is equal to 1 plus positive i minus 1 and why why is that because if you think it through uh, the dp array is the length of the longest sub subray up to uh, the current element so if the current element uh, is negative and which means that if we want to have a negative uh, subray up to this point then the product of the subray on its left should be positive so that is why uh, it should be 1 plus positive i minus 1 and here we will also update rest uh, from 0 to 2 using the equation here and the next element is negative 3 so the longest uh, positive product subray is uh, the length is 2 so update positive array from 0 to 2 and the longest uh, negative product subray is 3 so here is 3 and rest uh, still is still 2 and now we have a 0 and you can see that uh, because we initialize the positive and negative array to 0 so here uh, the element won't be updated it will remain 0 and you can think of it like uh, we will re reset the length of the subray to 0 so that is the main reason why we initialize the uh, dp states to 0 at the beginning and finally we have a, a positive number so we will update the positive array from 0 to 1 and finally the, the result is 2 finally let's review so the main algorithm we use for this question is dynamic programming and the data structures are uh, two dp arrays positive and negative and their meaning is the length of the longest subarray ending at the current element num side with positive or negative product and time complexity uh, linear time space complexity is linear too but if you think it through, you will notice that because of a DP array, uh, every DP value only depends on the previous one. So we can actually reduce the space complexity to uh, constant space using the code here. Okay, and that's all for today. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please give a like, and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in the next one.